Peace, guys and goddesses of Planet Kai. Peace meaning positive energy always creates elevation. Indeed, it does. Setting the right frequency and vibratory energy for today's mukbang because it's about to go. But before it goes down, we want you guys to please like, comment, and, and subscribe, subscribe to our channel, The Jeffersons 1211. Mm -hmm. If you like what you see here. If not, then subscribe anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> also go over to our page, The Jeffersons Shorts, and The Jeffersons Vlogs, where you can get um, interact and get a little bit more um, insight of our personal a little bit more personal lives. Just a little bit. Yeah. And then if you like um, if you like that too, make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to our son's channel, Sebastian Legend 1211. It's great things happening over there. And if you've been here before, thank you for joining the Peace family. We appreciate you greatly. And if you're new here, welcome, 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 welcome back to the Jefferson. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby, let them know what we got going on. We got us some turkey TikTok sandwiches again. The grinder sandwiches. The grinder TikTok grinder sandwiches. Yeah. The turkey. Like the sandwiches. Turkey? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we ain't doing the um the typical ham TikTok grinder. We got turkey with ours. Turkey. I believe it's honey roasted ham. The honey roasted turkey. Yeah, honey roasted turkey. My bad. Okay. Honey roasted turkey, y'all. We got the famous TikTok sauce right here. Right there. Smell it delicioso. Got some French bread. All of the toppings. I got some pepperoncini, some tomatoes, red onion, provolone cheese, real provolone cheese. Real. And baby got him some pickles over there. On my bread, I just put a little bit of um, yellow honey mustard, mustard, honey mustard, spicy and mustard. Uh, spicy mustard. So you're not eating cheese? Yeah, I'm eating the cheese. Where you get that from? I said it's real cheese. All right. It's just, oh, because it's on your side? No, it looked like it was, I no, see it, the other yes, cheese. Yes, I'm on that. Okay, let's get it. So, yeah, we got some um, chips yeah. for the crunch, and mm. we are drinking on some tea. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I made some, um, it's coconut and pomegranate with cinnamon tea. All right, let's so, get yeah, to it. So, yeah, let's get to it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go and address these ready. sandwiches up. I'm ready to I warmed the meat up a bit so we can, um, Kill some of the germs off of it, yeah. No. And the meat is cut really, really thin. So I just gave you like some extra slices because I know you, you the meat guy. Meat. Yeah, you the meat man. Um, can I get over here to my parole? Oh, I don't know. Boop. Boop and boop. Slice them back down. Yeah, we're gonna take this, lay that, that there, yeah. lay that there. Yeah. Oh no, I got the pepperoncini to me. You want pepperoncinis? I don't even know what pepperoncini is. It's like a, that's a pepper mixed with a pickle. Pepper, <laughs> a pickle, pepper. yeah, pickle, pickle pepper. pepper. And um, yeah. the star to show you guys, the star. Baby, do you remember the ingredients that was in here? Mm -hmm, but I remember it was delicioso. <laughs> oh, delicioso. <laughs> There you go. So it's just basically um, shredded lettuce. I put some mayo in it, um, vinegar, black pepper, red uh, red chili flakes, some oregano, and some oil. So that's, that's just what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this sandwich cut on in half. Yeah, yeah. Cause we're about to make it do what it do. Get a little sloppy around here. Yeah. Here, up in here. Up in here, up in here. Here you go, baby. And this is how it looks. That's one piece. I'm cut mine into three. In three? Okay, go on. Yeah, it is. As y'all can see, as y'all could see. Alright, let's show them the door. I didn't there. see all right. I'm going to put my condiments back in the nail because all oh, that looks sharp by the top. Thumbnail. Okay. All right. But let's 
it's 30. You want to put your chips on the plate or? No, I'm leaving my bag. As y'all can see. Your boy got his first to cook out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big to y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You gonna do the one, two, three? Guess nine, okay. Over too late. Mm -hmm. My appetite was telling me like, boy, what you waiting on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? 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 I started to grab the hot peppers, but I felt like my pepper cheese was gonna give me the little bite that I needed. Uh, you want them still? Mm -hmm. know if y'all tried these before you know round two with these joints mm -hmm. i think these gonna be our uh summer sandwiches round two don't even stand a chance like round one then Right there, sitting right there with the chips. See that right there, y'all? Let's scoop it back up. Mm. Mm. One of them sandwiches. Look at it. Not I think big. I need some more. Get some more over there. I need some more. It's getting dry right here in this area. I can't do no dry yeah. sandwich. No, no, I can't do no dry sandwich. At it. I've been eating a tomato, but my mind's still fighting with me. I'm making sure I get the firm ones for you. Because you don't like them soft, right?
terrible, y'all. Do you say that one? It's pomegranate, coconut, and cinnamon tea. Mm. It's gonna help push all this stuff down. This ain't the ballerina tea though. It's just regular tea, but tea just helps to, you know, cleanse that colon a little bit better. So warm, going down your esophagus. The esophagus. Saucy dub. Do too much. Both of them are hard. Mm -hmm. So, I sauce them. Do you need this in here? Because mm -hmm. I, I need, I need that space. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. No drip channel with this would have been sealed. Oh, yeah. You would have lost. Oh, man. You would have lost. The whole thing. You would have lost because I ain't drip none. My sandwich it was drippy, but it wasn't as drippy as the first time. See, the first time I was just super excited. I just slopped all that. I slopped all of the, the grinder sauce all on it. Oh, man, I didn't slop the first time. Mm hmm. So I slopped this time, though. Mm hmm. Look at that little bit right there. Mm. Look at it. It's delicious though. Mm -hmm. I probably want cheese help set it out too. I like that. That tanginess it gives you. Uh huh. That tanginess is from that um vinegar. That vinegar. Mm -hmm. yeah. The great bite right here. The great. I think I want to put a pickle on it since, you know, you all That's done. Right now. Yeah. Uh -oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute now. Is it too big? Ain't nothing too big for my mouth. None of y'all make it better than her either. Mm -mm. I don't. They don't. Nobody. They play bubbles. And they're right. Mm -hmm. You can't fuck with her. You can't fuck with her. Oh, this is good. It's like so satisfying right after like the cold sandwiches. Do you got something warm to just go down? It's just like we eating hot food and you got something cold to go down. It's like the opposite. Show them my new smile. Show them some clean now. I'm talking about burning them. Mmm. You like? No. Okay. Go ahead. I want to see you demolish it. Say less. Is this a challenge? 
<laughs> is that a challenge? No, nah, because I know you don't. You exactly. Know, you're poor, you don't stop eating. Exactly. Uh. Mm. That's why she work every day. Eat a big ass sandwich and then go work out three times. It's all work, no play around here. Mm -hmm. Around here, around here. Mm. I had a question. What's that? I've been seeing um, a lot of celebrities now go around taking the, um, the silicone out of their bodies. Yeah, I was saying it too. How you feel about that? How do you feel about these um, women like Black China and K. Michelle's going and taking the, the silicones out of their butts? I mean, apparently, they knew they weren't supposed to get it in the first place. Or either it's medical issues or women just tired of it and want to be their natural self now. Yeah. I mean, they used it to get what they wanted. Mm -hmm. A fan base and some money. Some money. So now that they got it, you know, why keep on destroying yourself? You can go and just get a little more healthier while you got the time. True. So that may be the reason why. I don't have a problem with it. I love natural anyway. Check her out. You know what I'm saying? I thought you were about to say you didn't have a problem with their uh, silicone butts. No, I don't have a problem with what they doing as far as taking this shit out. Silicone ain't fun. Mm. For us. Like the certain, um, the certain, you know, like, it's not fun. I don't know. Some guys may love it. But my experiences. Because of the look. It give you that bing, bang, pow. But it ain't like that when you bing, bang, pow. I guess. I don't know. It ain't right though. Well, to I'm me. Honestly, to me. Okay. Even when it just look good. It can look good, but it ain't feeling See, good. I, yeah, like I done had, I done, I done seen some that look good, but the ones that I done had, I don't know if they trying to live behind that mm -hmm. or make that they, I mean, we know they trying to make it a, an asset. But, Literally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but I didn't enjoy it. Right. Just, it just looked good for <laughs> what a picture! It looked good for uh, for them for whatever they use them for. It's easy on the eyes. Sometimes it be bad on the eyes. It be so it be so so overdone up. You be like, whoa! Some of these girls be having little ass legs, booty look like two balloons, blew up with two two picks hanging from them. They be looking crazy. I say I don't knock it. Do what you gotta do. But I'm too. all for natural though. Yeah. Team natural. That's why I work out. You know what I mean? Y'all, I know y'all been noticing I haven't been wearing any nail polish that's been on purpose. You know, um, cause it's been I've been just research. Yeah, I've been doing more research about you know how we are steady coming up with just cancer out of nowhere, and I'm looking at it like you know what? It's not coming up out of nowhere. It's not coming up out of nowhere. This cancer has actually just been building in our system for years from our lifestyle, from um, the bras that we're wearing, the chemicals we're putting in our hair, on our skin and nails, the stuff we clean in our bodies with. That's where all of this cancer is popping up from. So I'm at the point now where I just want my life to be more of a natural and earthly based lifestyle so that I could just have more longevity. You know what I'm saying? I can just be a, a look. My body can be a little bit more pure. You know, not saying that it'll, it'll guarantee me longevity because we can, you know what I'm saying, drop dead at any time. But I'm preserving my body for the better. You know what I'm saying? Are you organ donor? 
I would be an organ donor. I would do it. They didn't ask you when you got your ID. They did, but I took it off because you know I was going back and forth with. Uh, I'm not sure they out here kidnapping people out here taking their organs. Part of me believe that they are because you have organ donor on your um, ID, yeah. but. I would donate my organ, especially like to my family. Like, what I'm gonna do with it? I'm, I'm dead. My body is no longer my physical vessel is no longer of use when I transcend. Go ahead and take them and give it to somebody who need it. But start with my family first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I know how that is. Yeah. If you could put your family first, then yeah, I would definitely want it to go to somebody in my family like first. That. I think they'd be on some first come first serve. Right. Well, as long as it went to you somewhere. Because these some good organs up in here. I take good care of this body, okay? Yeah, mine good, too. Might get a little high, but <laughs> <laughs> they good. Mm -hmm. The doctor tell me all the time. Mm -hmm. And us men, men, we need to start going and get regularly checkups. Regularly. Because health, health is wealth. The more healthy you are, the more chances it is that you will become wealthy. Mm -hmm. The more healthy you are, the more chances it is that your kids can see you grow. And you can watch them grow to be older and see your grandkids too. But start going to get your checkups, man. Mm -hmm. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. My own. Um my yoga instructor, 70 years old, y'all. Almost 70. That man more flexible than me. He practiced a vegetarian lifestyle. Of course, he teaches yoga, comedic yoga. This man can do a straight up handstand like no other, all types of stuff. He raw. But like, a lot of people think when you get up in age, that is just, you know, uh, normal for your body to just start deteriorating. No. Nope. No. As long as you've been taking care of your body, especially when you start young, he's been doing yoga for over 50 years now. Almost 70 years. He said he started when he was 20, 21. Over 50 years now. And this man still moves better than a lot of these young men out here. Ain't got to take no pills for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Straight, plant-based lifestyle. And healthy. And living. And you teaching it to me. So I can teach it to y'all. You know? I mean, to each his own, but I just feel like when you know better, you do better. It don't make you sense. You do better, you do better. It don't make sense to be out here, you know, working out. And then you turn around and put all the bull crap in your body. Granted, I am eating a sandwich. <laughs> with cheese and stuff in it. But, you know, I ain't perfect. It's a good sandwich, though. Yeah, it ain't perfect. You got a lot of vegetables on it. It's all about balance over here. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, about it. it's all about balance, for real. We, um, we're um we a family of transitioners. So I can tell you now, we eat more of the good stuff than we do the bad. You know? I can give it to you. My son eat more fruits and vegetables than a lot of these kids out here that's around him. Willingly, not me having to force them. You know what I'm saying? Mangoes. Them don't last in the house. Yeah. So. Got these kids looking at you. You got to be uh, better representations and better examples. So. Role models. Yeah. And uh, I think that's just about do it for my little preaching session for today. <laughs> Anything else you want to add? No. Nothing at all, you know. Okay. I think we hit all of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's sloppy. I know. You want them to watch you finish? Mm. No, they ain't got to watch me finish. There you go. I'm gonna finish though. I know. How many uh, minutes we got? <laughs> <laughs> what we have? Oh, okay, yeah. We're gonna close this out. Okay. So, to everybody out there, 
young men, young women, young guys and goddesses. We're here to inspire you. So love on you. It's a